Welcome to tacticalintelligence.net. For today, I wanted to demonstrate how to prepare a simple um, but delicious bread recipe that requires no oven. Only a source of heat like a campfire, camp stove, or in this case, uh, a rocket stove, what I got lit here. So Bannock uh, is, is a great recipe because the ingredients can be all stored in a bag, which can be stored for quite a long time, or in a Mylar bag if you, ha if you have it. Uh, and then to use it, all you need to do is add water, which uh, I'm going to demonstrate here. And the recipe is actually included on the site, um, but I'll also include it in the links here in YouTube. So just pour it in a cup as I'm doing here, get some water, and add it to the mixture until you reach the right consistency. So basically the consistency that you're looking for is somewhere in the middle of uh, probably pancake batter and like a pizza dough ball. So you don't want it obviously as stiff as a pizza dough ball, uh, but not as runny as let's say pancake batter. So kind of like a happy medium in between here. I'm trying to see if I can film this and mix this at the same time, but um, actually I'm gonna need a little bit more water. Let me put this down for a second. It's kind of tough doing both here, filming and figure out a better way of holding this camera. Um, so yeah, just keep mixing it. Obviously, this is still not at the point where it's um, soft enough. Let's see, I'm going to add a little bit more water to this. Uh, just make sure it's thoroughly mixed as well. getting somewhere. So once you've re reached the desired consistency, you can add pretty much anything you, you want to. Uh, in this case, I'm going to add some raisins. I like raisins in mine. Depending on what kind of meal you're doing, if it's for breakfast or supper, you can add different things. It's just like an omelet. So basically, you can add sausages, raisins, nuts, um, whatever you think you would be good for you. So let's mix this up. Check on the fire here, it's looking good. So now that you get everything situated, your fire is going, the bread's ready to be cooked. So grab your pan, since mine is um, a crappy pan here that it's not nonstick, I'll add some butter to it. It's not necessary if you have a nonstick pan. Just put it on the fire and melt a little bit of that up, and uh, I'll come back when it's done. Okay, now the butter's melted. It's time to add the dough to the pan. So as you can see, I'm just kind of scooping it in the pan. And, I mean, do your best to do it with the fork, but um, it's kind of hard to spread it around a lot of the time, so don't feel shy. Get your fingers involved. Bannock can definitely be messy, but um, the end product is worth it. So trust me, definitely a tasty meal. So I'm basically flattening this out enough so that it covers the pan. It's probably going to be about... This is about a half of an inch thick, just to kind of give you guys some depth. It's hard to see with just the camera. And then just uh, place it on the stove when you're ready. OK, 
Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes that I've cooked it on this one side, so I'm just going to um, flip this over. Hopefully it's done. See a little piece just broke off. Sometimes that happens. So that's actually looking pretty good. Um, so I'm going to let it cook for again for another 10 minute, minutes or so. And I'll be back. Okay, let's check the other side. It's been about also about 10 minutes. Now this is just guessing basically. I don't have a tile with me. That's actually looking pretty good. Maybe the middle needs to be a little bit more. But it's pretty much done. So I'm going to pull off a piece and uh, try out since the edges are definitely done. It's looking good. This tastes great. Alright, so that's Bannock, guys. Enjoy.